This is a math trick that, again, I often see online for squaring three digit numbers. So often it will be like a number like 512 squared. And the trick is essentially you take each number individually, so five, one, and two, and square them individually. So you get 25, and then let's represent one squared as a, as a two digit number, which becomes zero, one, and the same for two squared, which becomes zero, four. Then we take the five times by the one, times it by two, which becomes a 10. And then we take the one times by the two, times by two, which becomes a four. And then we take the five times by the two, which is 10 times by two again, and add it here. Then the trick is to sum all of these up in a certain way. So this four becomes here, then this one, and then this one. And this is quite important that you sum them in this way. So this becomes four, four, and then a one, a two, and this becomes a six and a two. So two, six, two, one, four, four, which is actually 512 squared. So when I first saw this, I was like, oh, that's a neat trick, but why does it work? So first of all, let's take it as X squared. That's what we're trying to work out. And we know it's a three digit number. So we're gonna write X as 100A plus 10B plus C. So A, B, C become our digits. And this is important that I'm writing it in this way. So if we were to take this x in this form and square it, we would get 100a plus 10b plus c times by 100a plus 10b plus c. And then if we expand this out, let's see what we get. However, I'm gonna write this in a specific way. What is interesting here is if we look at all of the squared terms. So in our original over here on the left hand side, all of our squared terms are in this first layer at the top. So our 10,000A squared is this 25. This 100B squared is this 100. And then this C squared is this four. So if I write that out as a line, so 100, times my 100a squared plus 100b squared plus c squared is actually our first line of that equation. If I just change color to make this more obvious. Then in our next line, we actually have the a times by b times by two. So in here we have 1000ab, and then here we have 1000ab, that becomes our next term, which is actually this term here. And then also we have our BC term, which is 10 BC and 10 BC, which becomes uh, 10 BC. Now, both of these should actually have a two in front of them because there's two of them up here. So that becomes our second line, we'll put a plus in front of that. And what's left is this 100 AC, two of them. So then we get our two 100 AC, which is actually our bottom one here. So we can see from the algebra that if we write X as 100 A plus 10 B plus C, and then multiply it out, all of the terms that we have from our expansion actually appear in our shortcut method. Um, and it's just important to, again, know where your units, your tens, your hundreds, your thousands, your ten thousands land. So that when you add up your three layers, which essentially is this, this, and this, that you make sure that you end up with the right zeros in the right place when you sum them back together. So that's an, an explanation of how this works. It also works for two digit, two digit numbers. Um, so in two digit numbers, you can do a similar expansion. Uh, and you'll get the similar sort of result and the method works as well.